Hey, hey, what's up, people? Welcome back. It's TJ. Welcome back to Tease Time. Uh, thank you for your time. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, I wanted to just do my uh, intro video in the darkness uh, and show you the reason why I need to actually get my ceiling done. <laughs> because right now I have the drop light right here. And without this, this is what I'm working with right now. So uh, vis visibility is not the greatest right now and the reason why I need to get my ceiling done because in order to put my lights uh, the vinyl board or paneling whatever you want to call it needs to go up so I can drill like the holes so I can actually connect my lights and uh, I'm gonna start at this corner right here uh, because the cabinets are probably going to come out to about like right here. So these boards, the, the vinyl plank, uh, they don't require uh, the extra holes for the, the fiber optics because uh, they're not going to show. And these fiber optics are for like the, the solar system, make it look like the stars are twinkling at night. Uh, so yeah, that's where we're at today. And <laughs> that's where we're going to try to at least start applying the board today. So uh, enjoy. something like that so that's when it's on and then when it's off it shouldn't really be noticeable you know like if it's on the ceiling you shouldn't be able to see like the holes and everything but then once you actually like turn it on like so it'll be like that so right now I'm just trying to figure out the spacing. I have 500 strands, you know, give or take. I don't have to use all of them. 
but uh, I just want to figure out like the space, and I don't want to put like a cluster like jam packed full of a whole bunch, and then I run out of like strands to run. So I want to make sure I evenly space it, so it looks nice and and realistic. <laughs> I don't want a bunch of like empty spots. So uh, I haven't ran like so going through the ceiling and then also when I uh, like let's say this is a test one like when I mount it you know like it'll make it dim that's a 90 degree angle right there that the back is pressed so like when it's screwed in it's mounted it still should glow So, should be good. You know, we're gonna cross our fingers and hope for the best. <laughs>
right, that is that. Um, I decided I'm gonna try the backside anyway. I'm gonna try to like temporarily install this, the drill like my holes for my little uh, optic lights or my fiber optics. Um, hopefully like that will work out better than trying to like drill through uh, each board individually, especially like I have these seams and they kind of like push together. So that way I'll be able to even put like the, the fiber optics on, this, on the seams here. So uh, it should fit well, but like when I do take it off, I need to number the boards as they come off. I'll probably start here and go like one, two, uh, three, four, five, six, or something like that uh, to make it work. But uh, I'm pretty pleased with that. But I appreciate the time. Thanks for checking me out. Like, subscribe, tell a friend, or tell a friend <laughs> to subscribe and keep checking back for updates. I got a lot more coming. So peace, TJ.